Do we have three sons? According to this rare NASA footage, we do. So let's have a look. Here's the clip in question. It's a modern clip, but a rare one. I suspect none of you have seen this before. I want you to pay particular attention yet again, like we have been doing recently, to the astronaut's helmet. And what we're going to see here is three suns. It's on loop. It's a short clip. We'll play it twice, and then we'll zoom in and play it on loop as well, OK? I said there's no sound because there was music which was I believe copyright music you can see the sun in his visor and as he gets closer you get to see not one not two but three suns reflecting in the NASA astronauts visor how is that possible coming around again getting close can see the sun gets closer then we get to see three suns let's zoom in now that's three separate light sources obviously there's not three suns I've caught NASA with retro footage recently with the same problems essentially showing the neutral buoyancy labs lighting setup in the reflection of old space shuttle footage. This is outside the International Space Station, supposedly. And we're clearly seeing a lighting setup reflecting in the astronaut's helmet. This debunks the globe, the International Space Station, NASA, and anyone claiming to be orbiting a globe Earth. The globe Earth is impossible anyway. That's not up for debate. It's a done deal. But when we look at this footage, which is keeping people in a hypnotic trance for some bizarre reason, it's embarrassing. It's showing the lighting setup. Well, it's either the lighting setup or there are three suns. I haven't seen them. So I'm only left with the conclusion, logically, that we've got another lighting setup, just like previous footage I've highlighted. Someone's got to put an end to this silliness. Please put an end to this. How long? Does this have to go on? How silly does this have to get before the penny drops?